the opportunities are endless. There's so much technology that can be incorporated. It's interesting how much you can do with uh, design and how much technology can enhance it. I mean, let the space kind of define uh, the color for you. Typically, when I use colors on walls, I try and complement them with certain colors. So if I'm doing an earthy red, I would try and go with gray as opposed to a, 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 you know, a, a white, which is too much of a contrast. I think art is the best option. Uh, lots and lots of art. Art doesn't need to be expensive. I would say focus on how you install what you are buying. You could get something which is inexpensive, but the right proportion, the right colors, and it could change the way the space feels. I love incorporating greens uh, into uh, living spaces. So I would say lots and lots of green and warm tones. The best way to start would be if there's any furniture that you haven't been, if you're not a fan of it and you've been thinking of doing away with it, this is a good time. Invest in pieces that are nice, that you would want to live with for a long time. My top tip for small spaces is understand proportions. Don't over populate the space, don't crowd it, don't get an oversized couch in the, I mean I know you might want 20 people to sit in your space at one time, but be realistic. Uh, if they cannot accommodate it, it cannot accommodate it. Proportion is the key. In Bombay, I would say Jaipur rugs. It's, um, I'm biased to it because I've designed it. So there's Phantom Hands, there is a Pune-based design studio called Saar Design Studio. I think the language of their furniture is simply fabulous. Um, I think for lights, uh, my go-to is uh, Paul Matter by Nikhil Paul. In Delhi, there's a new brand uh, called um, Made With Spin, uh, which is, uh, again, they do some absolutely fabulous industrial furniture but with very 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 nice finishes.